According to Newsweek and Andrew Sullivan, President Obama is the first gay president. I'm sure that'll take the sting out of not being the first black president. Hello, it's Monday, and I'm CRZ, and it's another week, and another video from me. We're up to number, what, 88? Wow, that's as many keys as there are on a piano. Trivial fact of the day, just for you, from me. Current time is 5.26 p.m., and it is currently, no shit, it is currently 88 degrees today, right now. High for the day. High for 2012, I'm pretty sure. Hottest temperature of the year. Which means my wife got out just in time. As we speak, my lovely bride is on a plane to New York, currently flying over Lake Michigan, if I believe the internet, and I do, where she's going to spend a couple weeks uh, hanging out with friends and taking advantage of her new job, because one of the conditions of her taking the job was that they gave her two weeks off. And why would you spend them with me when you can go to New York? I certainly understand. Mm. I can see why Dale Jr. loves this. Vending machine was out of diet, Dr. Pepper. And I had nothing in the fridge. <sighs> in other words, just another Monday. Let me tell you. I did that boiled peanut video, and they opened up the floor for votes to see who would have the vote for the best video to win the prize. And when I went to the page, and I selected the view all videos page to see what my competition was, that page had one video on it, mine. So first of all, good thing I did it, because it really would have been embarrassing for there to be none. But I'm pretty sure they're wishing they probably had a better video than mine to be the only one. I don't know. So I hope you saw it and I hope you liked it. And uh, if you're on Facebook, I hope you voted for it. Because I would love to have more than two votes, mine and my wife's. I did go to the David Gilliland fan club. It does exist. And sent uh, people over there, but I don't know if they voted or not. But... Well, we'll know when the voting period is over, which is uh, Wednesday. So sometime Wednesday night, I'm sure they will either contact me and let me know I've won the prize, or they will silently remove any evidence that this contest ever existed and chalk it up to a growing experience. Pie Man... Uh, had a story about a time when his son was the only entrant in a local pitch hit and run competition. Is that like punk pass and kick but for baseball? Or whatever you call baseball at age nine? When, how, how like do you play t-ball? You're probably done playing t-ball before you're nine, right? I, was, I played baseball. I hated it. But how old was I? I was 11 and 12. Yeah, nine might be t-ball. Well, anyway. But there's pitching, so it can't be T-ball. He was not particularly good, but he was the only entrant in his age group, so he won. So congratulations to young Greg's son. Who knows how many years ago that was. But it validates my theory that if you're the only entrant, you can't lose. And I said something about my teeth, and he shared his story of his only one cavity, where he did not have Novocaine. That's no good. That sounds downright painful. I think I had an overcame. I don't remember. It's an experience I don't care to relive or to repeat. So I haven't had a cavity since then. Hopefully I won't either. But when the chuckles hit me, I don't know. I don't think it was the tooth that had the filling or was it the filling. But I also haven't had any twinges since then. So there must have been just something... Some pure sugar, just the right resonance to just hit my tooth. I'm even boring myself. 
Let's find that other comment. I had a comment on YouTube from Otto who comes for the wrestling and stays for... Out of the goodness of his heart, I think. He asks, any comments, witty remarks, or thoughts on John Cena's divorce? It's a crying shame. I guess money changes you. It's a good thing I'm always broke. That means I'll be married forever. But... No, I got nothing funny about that. It's just sad. I don't know. I mean, I have the perfect marriage, so I understand that not everyone can have the marriage that I have. But <laughs> it's easier for me to say that when I'm just beginning two weeks of batching it. We'll see how that goes. My worst fear is that I will just kind of stop caring about food entirely. At least when I'm home, either my wife will make something or I will feel obligated to make something for both of us. But if it's just me, it just kind of slides. So either I'll find uh, whatever junk food we have in the house and eat that and not have a real dinner, or I won't eat at all, which is even worse because it just makes me lightheaded and crazy. I should start thinking now about what I'm going to eat tonight. I don't know. And then when you get into something where there's like really good things on TV you can't tear yourself away from, like Game 1 of the Rangers Devil Series or, well, Raw's not great, but it's on... It has frequent ad breaks, at least, so you can kind of get up and kind of run to the kitchen. And But then, again, it's so much easier to grab junk food than to, like, cook something, so I don't know. Oh, I was talking about John Cena's divorce. Yeah, that's, that's, I hope we don't find out there's something behind that, or, you know, something that led to it. I'm trying to couch my words here so as not to say any rumors or spread any rumors. And certainly I'm not going to start any rumors talking to 20 people, but... Yeah, money changes you, man. And, I, you know, maybe it didn't change him, maybe it just changed her. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. I shouldn't say. It's not my place. I bet you wish I would say something, though. That would be worth watching. I think that's it, right? <sighs> yeah. I'm trying to think if I did anything exciting over the weekend. And it was Mother's Day. But going out to brunch isn't exciting. And calling my mom isn't as exciting as you think it would be. Although I had to find my grandmother's phone number. Which actually is on the internet. And good to know because I apparently didn't have it written down anywhere. I also know that because my grandma is mostly deaf, she's not going to answer the phone when I call, so I don't have to worry about her picking it up. Because that would just open a whole other set of questions I don't want to answer. But, uh... There was a lot of sports. It's tough, because my channel doesn't get picture-in-picture -picture anymore ever since the cable company went to high def and changed away the bandwidth and this and that, so they won't deliver it. You can only see one channel at a time. So when you're trying to watch a NASCAR race be it the nationwide race or the cup race and hockey and basketball all at the same time it doesn't work and you miss stuff that's a real problem isn't it that's a that's a that's a first world problem I can't see all of the three sporting events I want to see live at the same time boo hoo not to mention Smackdown was on I actually watched that on YouTube today because I never got to it all weekend all right. I've tortured you with my life enough. Come back tomorrow and hear more about my life. Thank you for watching. And I got a good burp coming in. If we wait for it, I'll reward you for sitting this long. <coughs> that wasn't good at all. I'll do better tomorrow.